It's vlogging time! Good morning, guys, and welcome to our first full day in L.A. My sister just pointed out something funny here. We have the Church of Scientology on one side of the road, and a medical center on the other side of the road. How does that mesh? Come on. <laughs> we're off to get some breakfast, and then we're going to see where the rest of the day takes us. Welcome to the L.A. Zoo. <laughs> We'd like to meet you. Over here we have near cats. They're a little chunky. <laughs> Stinky corn. It smells like a zoo in here. I wonder why. And now we're in Australia. See? Kangaroos. They're not doing yeah. much. Oh no, there's a koala. Wait, those are the koalas? Over there looks... No, over there looks like a wallaby. No, no. Doesn't look like a koala to me. Why is it in there? It's not. Well, they're not in Florida. And this is the end. Let's see if they're going to spot that back uh, where you can get out into a clear shot of the sign in case you want to take a picture or whatever. And uh, it's not really on the brochure as part of the tour guide. It just takes a moment, so I don't mind uh, stopping there for a quick minute. And that's going to be pretty soon, in about five minutes. And then from there, uh, just a few minutes to the one break we're taking, which is on Hollywood Boulevard. Uh, the building is called the Hollywood... What are you trying? the wood part. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I know, I know. This is our guided tour in a tour bus. Palm trees, all over the place. There's a, some of the films in which you, uh, they show a shot of the Capitol Records building. Uh, most recently, uh, anybody see the movie uh, Burlesque, Christina Aguilar and Cher? Yeah. Mm, no, that, yeah. That film is a really good example of our tour because a lot of footage is just done right here on Hollywood Boulevard. They show the Capitol Records building. They actually drive down the Sunset Strip. They go over to Rodeo Drive. So uh, it's, a, it's a good example of uh, the top things to see in L.A. just in a, in a short part of the film. Um, if you've ever heard, heard references to uh, this intersection, it's a very famous intersection, Hollywood and Vine. Hollywood and Vine. And as you can see on the sidewalk, both sides actually, these stars, the Walk of Fame, Stretches for about three miles. Uh, a total, anybody know how many stars? No idea. 2,500. Is yeah. that counting ones that are blank? Very good question. You are one of the very few people who I wait for people to ask that question. Uh, that's 2,500 total. There's about 100 and something that are still blank and yet to be awarded. So, yeah, that's a really good question. Uh, I don't know exactly. Uh, I, I don't always keep up with it. The last star that I remember they awarded was, I think, last week, Gwyneth Paltrow. Maybe two weeks ago, something well, We've been noticing a lot of duplicate stars. Which with, with okay. the same name. Okay, I'll tell you what it is. Another good question. There are five categories in which you can receive stars. 
Uh, film, television, radio, broadcast, live theater, and music. There are some exceptional situations as well. Uh, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, Bugs Bunny, Big Bird. Uh, so a few, uh, fictitious characters also Rugrats. receive stars. Rugrats, yeah. Uh, they Rugrats, have a star for uh, Godzilla. Yeah, yeah, I saw that, I saw that one. one. Okay. Um, other exceptions include uh, organizations. Uh, my favorite baseball team, the Los Angeles Dodgers. They have a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know what, I, I, I don't, considering what happened to them this year, I have no response. Yeah, on right? my team, they know better. Well, actually, the way worse. Yeah, but I, I, I don't think there was any other team that had as much controversy surrounding oh. the Dodgers this past year. With the whole divorce, did. well, with the divorce, that when, when the owners get divorced and it affects the team, I mean, that shouldn't happen. You know, the money allocated for the team is affected by the owners' divorce. To me, that's, that should be separate money. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, but their star is right in front of the Kodak Theater, uh, next to another one of my favorite stars, the Victoria's Secret Angel. Uh, uh of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm not exaggerating. They, they, they have a star on the Rock of Fame, believe it or not. And they're both right next to each other, right in front of the Kodak Theater. Uh, and we're going to be there in a moment. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, there's only one person in the history of the stars who has received a star in all five categories. And I will give a dollar to anybody who can tell me who, who that is. Bob Hope. That, you know what? That is an outstanding try. You know why? He's in second place. Four stars. It's a Four out of five? Huh. Yeah, no. Uh, it, it's actually a pretty hard question. I've been doing the tour for five years. One person has guessed, and I ask it almost every time. Uh, the answer is actually a Gene Autry. I was just no. thinking Gene Autry. Because we've <laughs> passed him <laughs> four times. <laughs> we've passed oh. four Gene Autrys. Okay, so what, you already walked out here? Or? We, we walked last night, yeah. How far did you walk? Did you saw four out. of his stars? That's we incredible. walked clear down one side and up and down the other. Wow, okay. <laughs> we walked a long way last night. Yeah, we looking for a subway. <laughs> yeah, we walked, well, we walked to the end and then we yeah, walked down we walked and we to the very end of it. And then we were looking for the subway and okay. we ended up walking clear back. Well, yeah. this is going to be boring for you then because no, you're going to have No, no. <laughs> Now, as you can see here on Hollywood Boulevard, you know, leading up to, now, the, where we're going is the main, I mean, that's the main attraction. But leading up to a lot of different things to do, internet cafe, uh, tattoo parlors left and right, restaurants, souvenir shops, of course. Uh, Moose and Frank Grill, that's a real popular place. Uh, that's the, uh, the favorite place to eat for s s uh, such stars as uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Johnny Depp, when he's in town. Johnny Depp lives in France now, but he used to hang out there a lot. Um, a lot of things to do over here on the boulevard. Yeah. Uh, so we're almost there. We're going to be there in a moment. Um, the building, the Hollywood Highland Center, it's got about 75 stores and restaurants. Uh, the mall stores are open a little bit later than your average mall. Okay, so basically the malls around L.A. are open until about 9 during the week. Uh, these stores can be open up until 11, 12 o'clock. Uh, they're all different, so it kind of depends. Because this is such a... People in costume. Oh, I'm not no. kidding. They're, they're turf war. People, you know, having their own little stretch. Oh, this is my territory. You know, stay out of it. And wow. um, there's uh, at one time there was four. There were four Spider-Mans walking around. So yeah, it does get a little confusing sometimes. But some of the costumes are good. Some aren't really that good. So so here's the building, the Hollywood Highland Center. If uh, it's real convenient for people to take the subway here because this is the escalator right here leads to the subway, oh so it drops you off. Right. Oh, we couldn't find we it. We couldn't find it. <laughs> we walked all the way down. Yeah, that's the way to go back And and it's just a block away from your hotel. Yeah. It's just a block away from your hotel yeah. to get here. I don't know, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, and it's a dollar fifty. So. Hey, we wouldn't have walked the whole or most yeah. of it if we, we had. Walked, yeah, we wouldn't have noticed all the Gene Autrys. The El Capitan Theater, owned by Disney. Only Disney films are shown here. That's the oldest one, 1926. Here's the main entrance into the uh, center. If you look into that opening, you can actually see the Hollywood sign. So those those platforms up there, oh, right. oh. you see those bridges over there, those are the ones that are designated to go view the sign. So again, oh. it's up to you. It's whatever you do with the next 45 minutes. Uh, do you guys get the late night talk show Jimmy King Alive in Iowa? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Jimmy King Alive is filmed right up. here. And uh, tickets are free, by the way. Jimmy King Alive is free? I think so. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm almost Jimmy certain it is. Um, this is the uh, Kodak Theater to the right. The actual entrance to the theater is way in the back. Um, you can come back at a different time. The uh, Kodak Theater and the Grandma's Chinese Theater offer oh, tours that only take about a half an hour. That is an option. And we're going to come down this... Hollywood, yeah. And over here, the Grandma's Chinese Theater, <coughs> famous for the hand and footprints in the cement. 
Okay. And uh, 2,500 stars. I can't tell you where another one is. A very popular one, the one of Michael Jackson right in front of the gift shop. Oh, yeah, we saw that one. You know, what's funny is uh, <laughs> after Michael Jackson died, um, you know, they laid flowers out and all that, but they put, put it on the wrong star of Michael Jackson. There's a broadcaster by the name of Michael Jackson, white guy. Yeah, There's we have that one too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they still have the name wrong. Yeah, they, they put, it was, it was, I mean, I don't like to make fun, but it was just. kind of sad. Yeah, it was kind of sad. So this is where you, this is where you want to be. I'm going to look for parking, and then once we park, um, we'll start the clock and we'll uh, meet back. And, and again, you can leave anything on board if you wish. There's Ripley, it's where we were yesterday. I know. Yeah. Hollywood, look, Metro. Right? Look. Fountains in the middle of January. They were actually going a little stronger than that. There we go. I believe these would be the same fountains that Shea Carl broke his camera in. <laughs> if you ever saw that episode, he is running through it, tries to miss the water, and destroys the camera because it's not waterproof. I am not going to do that. I like my camera. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> nice. Hey guys, you haven't seen me a lot today. Um, we're going to be heading back to our tour bus in about, oh, a couple minutes. Within the next two or three minutes, we got to get back to it. Um, this is called the Saddle Ranch Restaurant. Um, there are two sets of drapes. Look at the drapes on the right side, and inside you may notice the mechanical bowl. I'm going to try to slow down. Is that where you can see? Yeah. We have those. Yeah. We can actually ride mechanical bowl. We got real. We got real bowls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to stick a quarter in them. No big deal mentioning a mechanical bowl to you folks. <laughs> <laughs> I've ridden mechanical ones, but not the real ones. Yeah, well, they actually, they, they, so they have it as a feature, but anybody that rides it has a new behavior of least one. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Uh, there's also another Saddle Ranch restaurant um, next to Universal Studios. I'm going to pull over just for a second. This is the other comedy club. It's called the Comedy Store. And uh, if you look on the wall, you see some famous names. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld, uh, decades ago for the Wilson. Uh, Billy Crystal, Whoopi Goldberg, uh, just to name a few. And, Bob uh, Saget. All those are really famous Bob names. Bob Saget's actually pretty funny. Somewhat, yeah. I'll tell you a little bit uh, more about the uh, comedy store. Jim Barney. The comedy store is owned by Mitzi Shore. Does that name ring a bell? Mitzi Shore? Right? No. Mitzi Not Shore is the mother of Polly Shore. Oh. Yeah, so Polly Shore oh, is this like, is the one. This is the one where <laughs> Polly Shore is pretty much brought up here. Polly yeah. Shore, Pretty much where Polly Shore was brought up. So. Um, over Richard here on the Fire. left side, the original House of Blues. Ooh. The original. There's one also in Las Vegas. Um, the 1980 film The Blues Brothers was the inspiration. Uh, Dan Aykroyd uh, and John Belushi both from Saturday Night Live. Uh, Dan Aykroyd is actually the owner of this original House of Blues. Wow. Nice. Over here to the left, the celebrity hotel is called the Mondrian Hotel. Check out the tall ground entry doors and the pot of plant, which is just about seven feet tall. Wow. Holy cow. Good Holy grief. Cow. I like the door. Now the, uh, the nightclub inside the Mondrian is called the Sky Bar. The entrance is over there on the right side. Uh, once you get out on the terrace on a really clear day or, or evening, it's a real cool view of West L.A. The uh, Sky Bar nightclub is owned by the husband of the former uh, supermodel Cindy Crawford. His name is Randy Gerber. He too is a former model. Uh, over here on the right, Kata is a Japanese restaurant uh, owned by uh, singer Rod Stewart. <gasps> Oh, Rod Stewart, sorry, I love Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart, he, a lot, some people he, even here in L.A. don't realize that he owns a lot of real estate. He owns a British uh, restaurant um, over there at the 3rd Street Promenade that I ate at. And I've never had uh, food from England, and it was outstanding. And so, yeah, so Rod Stewart owns this. Uh, Does he stay here? <laughs> <laughs> Can we stalk him in the next two days? No, I don't want to stalk him. Yes, you should do. You can't, you can't use that term in L.A. here. No, no, no. You're going to get arrested for that. At home, it's fine. There's nobody here. Yeah, that's right. There's nobody at home. This There's no one at home. Did you guys fly to LAX? Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is La Cienega Boulevard. This is the top of the boulevard. If you take it all the way down about 15, 20 minutes, go over a hill, and you end up right next to LAX. But this is actually a pretty good view. It's still a little cloudy today, but it's still a pretty nice view of West L.A. once we go through the intersection. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this is La Paramount Pictures. Uh, actor Eddie Murphy has his uh, business office on the property. If you'll notice, most of his uh, projects are Paramount Pictures. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. For very early years, the Cecil B. DeMille Company came to Nashville. In the 1960s, Star Trek. 
1970s brought Happy Days and Laverne and Shirley to Uh Just over to the left, the, the Paramount Water Tower. Yep. Oh, I'm quiet. That's like a surprise. Okay. And uh, <laughs> even, about that. even more uh, recognizable, the uh, entry gate to Paramount as it reads Paramount Pictures. Now, I'm not turning left, but I'm going to pull over to you. That's crazy. <laughs> No, dude, that's why I didn't even know that that water tower at the beginning of all the movies is real. Yeah. yeah it is. That's cool. And I'm glad you identified it with that because when I pointed out, when did you see that? Yeah, it's always at the beginning of the Paramount. Now, the, uh, the yeah. Educate the Paramount as it read Paramount Pictures above it, that is actually the newer set of Educate. The original one is right here. And I don't always point these out because some people are like, but you guys know film, so I'm going to point it out to <laughs> you. Uh, over here, these are the original ones. That might not look familiar as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the original. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. And as you can see, it's just it's such a huge property. Yeah. Stage four. Yeah, oh, exactly. Gosh. Where Paramount uh, does both television and film, Raleigh Studio is a much smaller studio. Not a whole lot of nostalgia or fanfare here. They, they mainly do uh, television. Uh, their biggest show, uh, I would say, was a few years ago. It was called Ally McKee. Uh, also, uh, <laughs> At least that one works. So, uh, Boston Legal, William Shatner and Candace Bergen, they did it over here as well. Here as well. So <laughs> now it's about a 10 minute or so break between here and downtown LA. Jump on the We'll be in downtown in about 10 15 minutes, um, and then we'll finish things up. You, like, you got like Bond over here? Oh my god. What do you think of Richie? I think it's a stupid idiot. And I'll tell you one thing, he's one of the nicest guys. I've oh, I bet you he's an angel. I really, I think, like, I always love Ricky Sanborn. We're back over at the Hollywood Walk of Fame. We're going to get some dinner over at the Hard Rock Cafe. And then I don't know what else we're going to do. We're going to have lots of fun trying to figure out what that's going to be, though. Magnetic silverware. Interesting. Some of you might remember this uh, Shakira album cover. Here's the bikini. The real thing. <laughs> 